In the summer of 1943, the art collector extraordinaire and patron of the arts, Peggy Guggenheim, commissioned Jackson Pollock to paint a large horizontal mural for the entrance hallway of a duplex apartment on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. By November of that year, Pollock had created what would be the largest work of his entire career, an extraordinary horizontal processional mural measuring almost nine by 20 foot long. This is one of the most important paintings of abstract expressionism, partly because it's the first painting where Pollock really discovered his true self and his forte. And in this painting, Pollock combined, on the one hand, a sense of all over composition, the buzzing vitality that animates the entire canvas from edge to edge. And he combined that with an amazing new sense of scale. That sense of scale, of epic dimensions, would establish one of the key features of what would become known as abstract expressionism. We're very fortunate because Mural has just undergone an amazing 18-month cleaning campaign at the Getty Conservation Institute in Los Angeles. The purpose of this exhibition is firstly to bring Mural back to the actual home of Peggy Guggenheim, who commissioned it 72 years ago. Secondly, the exhibition seeks to set Mural in focus by surrounding it with other works by Jackson Pollock, such as Moon Woman of 1942, in which Pollock first explored the idea of a moving, active figure uh, leaping across the canvas. Then Mural is also accompanied here by the astonishing painting of 1947 known as Alchemy. It was in the paintings of 1947 that Pollock developed the idea that he first gave birth to in Mural. That idea was to try to capture, as he said in his own words, energy and motion made visible. We're doubly lucky because Alchemy has also undergone a cleaning campaign, this time in Florence. In the rest of the exhibition, you will see works by Lee Krasner, who responded to Mural in the painting known as Promenade of 1950. You will see uh, works by Robert Motherwell, who produced his very, very monumental Elegy to the Spanish Republic, number 126. In the Corridor to the Exhibition, you will see, very interestingly, the kind of photographs of action by artists such as Herbert Matter, the Swiss designer who was a close friend of Jackson Pollock and influenced him in the early 1940s, the Albanian-born Life magazine photographer Jean Mealy, and Barbara Morgan, who was another important photographer of energy and action in the 1940s.